In this video, I will be covering 15 Cezanne knitwear pieces, so let's get into it. Starting with this gorgeous white cardigan, this is the Beryl cardigan, and what stood out the most to me are these gorgeous knit detailing that look like little drops of pearls handcrafted onto the sweater. It has long flowy sleeves and a deep V neckline, which gives it a very feminine and romantic look. The buttons replicate the details on the sweater, adding to that soft and delicate vibe. And although the sweater is made of 100% cotton, the fabric feels sturdy and does not wrinkle. I got this in a double extra small and it is a little oversized so you could consider sizing down if you want a more snug fit. Next I'm wearing the Ambrose cardigan in a stunning red color which is all the rage right now. The fabric is relatively thinner, fits snugly and takes the shape of your body. It fits true to size and I got mine in a double extra small. It's got a square neckline with beautiful scallop detailing. However, the neckline could be a little too deep on someone with a short torso like me. The fabric has these little knit details which differentiates it from a regular cardigan and it feels comfortable despite having a polyester blend. Unfortunately, since the neckline is a little too long on me, I will be returning it. Next, I have the Wilson cardigan also in a double extra small. This one has a boxy oversized look with wide sleeves. I like that it is not too long and not too short. It's crafted with a blend of cotton, wool, and polyester, and the fabric feels a little synthetic. It's got big glossy buttons that are easy to open and these large dark navy blue stripes that contrast well against the off-white color on the sweater. This is possibly one of my favorite looks from this Cezanne haul and I think it just looks very effortlessly chic and falls into the old money aesthetic. Next, I'm wearing the Lenore jumper in a double extra small. This jumper comes with a belt that you can wrap around and tie it to make it as tight as you want on your waist. I fell in love with the uniqueness of the wraparound tie look and the fact that it accentuates my curves and does not fit too oversized like most Suzanne sweaters. However, the neckline was a little too deep on me and I just found myself constantly adjusting this top and it felt very uncomfortable overall. I will be returning this jumper, although I did like the stretchy fabric and the overall fitted look of this sweater. Next, I have the gorgeous Kayla cardigan and this one is made of 100% cotton. When it comes to Cezanne, I find that their natural fabrics are a lot better than their polyester counterparts. This one is open-knit, breathable and comfortable and you could definitely wear them during warmer spring months. It's got a gorgeous knit crochet detailing and a v-neckline that is a tad bit deep like most Cezanne sweaters. I got this cardigan in a double extra small and I find that it fits true to size. Next I have the Aya cardigan in a double extra small as well. It's in a bright pink color and I like the crochet detailing on the sweater. It is not as sheer and see-through as some of my other Cezanne sweaters such as the Kayla cardigan. It's got a deep v-neckline and round buttons of the same color. It's crafted with a wool and polyester blend, but the fabric feels more synthetic and dry, and I'm personally not a huge fan of this material, especially for the price point. It's good length for petites, and I wish the arms fit a little tighter on me, but otherwise I do think it fits true to size. Next, I have the Emilia jumper in double extra small in a gorgeous green color. This one is extremely oversized and I recommend sizing down. It's got a high neckline and has intricate rib detailing. It is crafted with a blend of organic cotton, wool, and polyamide and feels thick, raw, and sturdy rather than soft and plush. What's unique about this sweater is the cross back opening that looks trendy and contemporary in my opinion. Although this has potential to look stylish if you size it down, I am personally not a fan of this jumper and will be returning it. Next, I have the Dita jumper in a size extra small and this one fits true to size. What makes this simple off-white jumper unique are these beautiful knit detailing that's been done all over the sweater. It has a round neckline with additional detailing there as well. It's got buttons on the cuffs which makes the sweater even more special. 
It has a polyester blend fabric and it feels extremely soft and stretchy. However, I did find the material to be on the thinner side and it does appear to be sheer, so you may want to consider wearing a bra of the same color as your jumper. Both the body as well as the sleeves are perfect length for someone petite like me with a short torso. When it comes to styling, this top would make a great layering piece under blazers. Next, I have the Gabriella dress in size extra small. This dress is made of 100% merino wool and feels very comfortable and breathable. I am 5 feet 3 for reference and this dress falls an inch or two above my knees. Despite being a ribbed knit dress, this one does not fit too tightly like a bodycon dress but still gives that subtle definition to your body. Dresses that are not too tight and not too loose like this one are versatile and can be worn to many different occasions. Next, I'm wearing the Evelyn dress in a size extra small and this dress fits true to size. This is a short sweater dress with a relaxed fit. Despite being made of 100% merino wool, I find the fabric to be quite lightweight and on the thinner side. It is flowy, comfortable, and has a nice stretch to it. It has a round neckline with buttons on the front, along with ribbon grow gray lining on the button placket for durability. Next, I have the Leontine jumper in double extra small and it fits true to size. This one is made of 100% cotton, but it feels raw and sturdy like linen instead. But despite that, it does feel comfortable on the skin. This sweater fits well on the shoulders and chest and fits loose elsewhere. It's got balloon sleeves that tapers at the bottom, and it has these striking navy blue stripes that look quintessentially French. Next, I have the Paolo jumper, also in a double extra small. This sweater appears to fit snugly on the model, but on me, it is slightly looser, so I recommend sizing down if you want a tighter fit. I love the gold button details on the sleeves. It complements the maroon color on the sweater really well and makes casual outfits dressier. This sweater is wrinkle resistant and feels very comfortable on the skin. It is made of 100% merino wool and I also like that it is work appropriate. Next, I'm wearing the Gaspar cardigan in a double extra small in navy blue. This is a simple classic cardigan with drop style shoulders. It is not too fitted and nor is it too oversized. The fabric is a blend of mohair and alpaca wool and it feels a little itchy on the skin. It has feminine pearl buttons and a ribbon grow gray lining on the button placket for durability. Most Cezanne sweaters fit oversized but this one fits true to size and if you're pity, this is something you could definitely consider. For a similar look, you could also opt for the berry cardigan which is something I personally prefer over the Gaspar cardigan. And if you want more details on berry cardigan, you could check out my Cezanne styling haul by clicking the link on the top right corner. Next, I'm wearing the Amandine dress in a size extra small. This is a long sleeve midi dress that fits tightly on the top and flowy and loose on the bottom. It comes with a slit so you can show off your legs. It has merino wool and cotton blend fabric and feels very comfortable on the skin. Unfortunately, this dress is on the thinner side as compared to other sweater dresses and I'm personally not a fan. It just looks unflattering on my body. The neckline is wide and has these beautiful detailing. However, it is a little too deep on a petite body frame like mine. I will definitely be returning this dress. 